Hello, dear friend. This is Pastor Eric uh, from Pleasant Ridge Baptist Church in Shelby, North Carolina. This morning, I wanted to offer you a word of encouragement, maybe a pleasant thought or two. And as I do that, I hope that you'll even contemplate where you're at right now, not physically, but maybe spiritually. It's difficult for us to have to wait. If you're like I am, I'm a very impatient person. I like for things to be done yesterday rather than tomorrow. And so it's difficult to wait, especially in times like this when the COVID-19, the, the coronavirus just seems to be rampant all around us. We hear of people who are infected by it. We know of people maybe who have passed away. And so that's a very scary thought. And part of that anxiety is brought about because we don't know what's going to happen to us. We're not really sure if we're going to be infected. We're not really sure if we're going to be the one who would pass away because of this virus. And so we have to find our peace in this world by seeking the peace that only God can offer. God does offer us peace that passes human understanding, but we have to lean on his wisdom rather than our own. You know, during this time, they're working on developing a cure, but God already knows the cure. It's just that right now, he's using this time to draw us near to him. I would guarantee you that there are a lot of people who have fallen on their knees, who have bowed their heads and bowed their hearts to God that wouldn't have normally done that because they live in fear. But God calls us not to live in a spirit of fear, instead to be strong and courageous and so today, I want to encourage you to do that. Charles Stanley writes in his book called Walking with God. He says, God's plan for your life has incredible blessings and unexpected rewards. Following him will not only be profitable for you, but it will allow you a glimpse of Jesus, his trustworthiness, his willingness to forgive your sins, his faithfulness, his loyalty, his devotion, and his unconditional love for you. God loves you very much, and he wants you to experience the fullness of life. He wants you to experience life exceedingly, and today you can do that. You may be in the confines of your own home. Maybe you're in the workplace because you're one of those people who is considered a, an essential worker. No matter where you are, God is with you. And with his presence, we find power. We find peace that, again, passes human understanding. I love what Isaiah says in the 40th chapter of his writing. We hear these words in verse, beginning with verse 28. Do you not know have you not heard the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Today, the question for us is this. Are you leaning upon God's strength, God's wisdom, God's power, God's peace, or are you depending upon yourself? We'll fail. I promise you that. Mankind will fail. We will we will fail with each other. We will fail in our relationship with God. But the good thing about this is that love of God offers us grace and mercy and forgiveness every day. 1 John 3, 1 says this, See how great a love the Father has bestowed on us that we would be called the children of God. And such we are. Today, I hope that you recognize that you are a child of God. He wants to use you in this time. So my encouragement to you is this. Reach beyond your comfort zone. Call someone that you know and encourage them. This can be a very discouraging time. 
these days of isolation and having to stay at home can just pound on us, can just beat us up. But if we encourage one another, if we love on one another, I'm telling you, it will change our whole perspective. So use this time to grow in a greater relationship with your God, your Creator, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and with one another. I love you, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'm going to pray with you right now. Let's pray. Father God, we just ask that you would instill in us that sense of peace that can only be brought about by your presence. And so, God, will you go with us today? Remind us each day that Jesus Christ saw beyond the years, and he saw us, and Lord was willing to die on Calvary's cross to forgive us of our sins. And Lord, because of that, we have the great hope and promise of eternal life. So Lord, help us to invest in that. Lord, I pray that today you would give us a peace, a peace that we can't even describe. Help us, Lord, to be able to go through this time encouraging one another. And I pray, Lord, that most of all, we would be a reflection of your love to everyone that we encounter. We love you, Lord, and we lift this in all prayer. In Jesus' holy name, amen. I hope that you have a very pleasant day.